Hello, good day. So for this video, we're going to talk about a silicon controlled rectifier or SCR for short. And then we'll try to simulate some existing circuit diagrams under it. So a silicon controlled rectifier or SCR is a unidirectional current control device like a Shockley diode. However, the SCR has a third terminal capable of supporting a digital gate connection, which adds another means of controlling the current flow. The SCR switches on when the forward bias voltage exceeds the forward breakover voltage or when a current pulse is applied to the gate terminal. The SCR is triggered into conduction by applying a gate cathode voltage which causes a specific level of gate current. The gate current triggers the SCR into conduction. This, the device, is returned to its non-conducting state by either anode current interruption or first commutation when the SCR is turned off. It stays in a non-conducting state until it receives another trigger. Phase control of SCR means having control on the phase relationship between the start of current through the SCR and the source voltage. Whenever we talk of phase angle, we generally mean the angle of sinusoidal quantity at any instant of time. Phase control of SCR means the phase angle where it is getting turned on by the application of gate signal. Let us understand the concept with the help of two simple circuit diagrams that will be presented in the screen. In this video, I will try to show to you the variations of the firing angle while adjusting a potentiometer using the software application Circuit Wizard. But first, we must understand the concepts conduction angle and firing angle. The conduction angle is the angle in which the diode con conducts. To determine the conduction angle, we need to find out the angles at which the diode starts and, and ceases conduction. The conduction angle of SER is equal to 180 degrees minus the firing angle. The firing angle may be defined as the angle measured from the instant SER gets forward bias to the instant it is triggered. Now, we will try to simulate the given circuit diagram presented in the screen. Initially, we can see that the potentiometer is set to 0% and the conduction angle is actually 180 degrees and the firing angle is 0 degrees. Now, we will try to um, look into the changes in the firing angle as well as the conduction angle when we adjust the potentiometer of this type of circuit. We can see that as we adjust or increase the potentiometer of this simulation, we can see changes in the waveform that it, that it produced. At 8% of the potentiometer, we can already see that the, um, the, the increasing trend in the firing angle. As, and as we increase further, we can see it reaches, we can see the value of the firing angle reaching 45 degrees and as we increase the poten the value of the potentiometer we can eventually see the firing angle reaching the value of 90 degrees This is the, char the characteristic or the waveform produced when this type of circuit 
uh, when the potentiometer of this circuit is on counterclockwise. Now we will try to uh, simulate this type of circuit when the potentiometer is rotating clockwise. First, we're going to set the value of the potentiometer to 100%. We can see that at 100%, the waveform or the conduction angle of the output is actually 180% while the firing angle is 0%. As we dis decrease the value of the potentiometer, we can see the, um, the increasing trend in the firing angle of the output waveform. At 81% of the potentiometer, we can already see that the firing angle of the output is at 45 degrees now as we move further along and as we decrease the potentiometer we can see the firing the value of the firing angle eventually reaching 90 degrees with this simulation it can be concluded that when ser phase controls potentiometer is um, rotating counterclockwise, we can see that as the value of the potentiometer increases, the, the value of the firing angle also increases. While when the potentiometer is rotating clockwise, we can see that the value of the firing angle incre increases when the value of the potentiometer decreases. Presented in the screen is the second circuit diagram for SCR phase control. Now, uh, similar with the first simulation process, we're go going to try and look at the characteristics of the firing angle with respect to increasing or decreasing potentiometer value. To start, I'm going to set my potentiometer to rotate counterclockwise and then set my potentiometer value to zero. We can observe that when the potentiometer is at zero, the conduction angle is actually 180 degrees since the, the firing angle is zero. Now, as we increase the value of the potentiometer, we can see firing angle being formed and is approximately close to 45 degrees. As we increase the value of the potentiometer, we can see that the firing angle reaches 90 degrees. Which is similar to the previous phase control circuit. Now, when we try to rotate the potentiometer to counter uh, to clockwise motion or rotation and set the potentiometer value to 100%, we can see that the conduction angle is at 180 degrees while the firing angle is at 0 degrees. As we decrease the value of the potentiometer, we can see that the firing angle is increasing as well until it reaches 
90 degrees. Similar with the previous circuit diagram, we can conclude that with this um, SER phase control, when the potentiometer is rotating counterclockwise, we can see that the firing angle increases with respect to increasing potentiometer value. While when the potentiometer is rotating clockwise, we can see that as the potentiometer is decreased, the firing angle increases. That's all. Thank you.